You work hard for that paycheck, and today's wallet warning aims to help you keep more of that money in your pocketbook. The summer months are ripe for folks making travel plans, but that means scammers are also hard at work. Shelby County Trustee Regina Morrison Newman is here with us to warn us about a vacation rental scam. Or Absolutely. Or more. <laughs> what is going on? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yes. What <laughs> is this? What's happening here? Um, well, you know, legitimate sites like. Uh, Airbnb, of course, yeah. or Vacation Rental Book Online, which is VRBO, um, are kind of being hijacked, oh. um, whether whether it's fake ads, whether it's fake websites, whether it's fake contact information on legitimate ads. And so we're here to say, be very careful. You don't want these scammers. The scammers know what time of year it is. They know you're booking online, and they know it's thousands of dollars, hundreds and thousands of dollars. So it's an easy scam for them, and uh, they're going to steal your joy and your money. Not your joy, <laughs> not my joy. Exactly. And so how to avoid all this? Number one, don't pay off-site. Stay on the official website. Oh. Um, if landlords who own the property are trying to get you to go off-site, that's the first red flag. Don't ever do that. Always pay with a credit card so that you can get your money back um, if possible. But our partners at the Better Business Bureau in town said they had eight calls just in May from people who booked from other places to come to Memphis in May and join in the festivities and there you go. So we don't want the, that view of our there. city and it's, it's either a fake ad not there or they paid somebody who, who the owner didn't get the money because you paid off site to some scammer and that kind of thing. So um, watch out for fake listings. Watch out for hijacked ads where it's a legitimate listing, but the contact information is different. So check the address and the owner online. Do your due diligence. Wow. <laughs> Do your research and never pay off-site. Um, the biggest one now is the hijacked ad, and that is um, they take a legitimate ad on a legitimate site and they alter the contact information. Okay, so so you're basically, you're sitting there, you're on Airbnb, mm -hmm. right? You you find the place that you want. On real Airbnb. You click on the place that you want mm -hmm. and then another ad pops up mm -hmm. that's actually telling you to click on that and then you leave if the you, listing. Yes, oh. if you leave the, the legitimate site mm -hmm. to make your payment or your or do your booking, you're more likely than not to be on a site that you're not going to see that money again. Oh my <laughs> lord. And then I just, you know, and I just imagine that you, you've then made all these plans. You think you have a place to stay. I mean, it's like, a, that's really, that's rude. That it, it is. It takes a lot to save money to go somewhere. You know? As we say in the South, it's just tacky. <laughs> it's tacky. It's tacky. So, tacky. so you're going to show up and you're not going to have a, a property at all or somebody else is going to be in it because you never had a booking. Are these uh, companies, do you think that they're responsible, the, you know, these platforms that have these... They're being you know, hijacked. Ads, yeah. yeah, they're being hijacked or a legitimate ad. It's like when someone clones your Facebook profile right, so they right. can clone your property on a VRBO and there's your property, but they put somebody else's name and yeah. link and whatever I in keep there. I seeing um, there's a, a former council member whose wife keeps like popping up and trying to be friends with me and I'm like your wife is being you know yes. she has her identity has yes. been stolen on Facebook over and over and over again okay so that's really yes okay what can we do um, so never go off site okay and uh, do business with reputable websites not just somebody you find on the web try to stay on the web reputable reputable website okay yeah and, here's the list how to uh, avoid yes. online booking companies. yes and then research the property Make okay. sure you know who the owner is, et cetera. If it shows up on multiple sites with different contact information, red flag. So don't respond to phishing emails, Right. number one. Uh, don't click on links. We always tell everybody, never click on links. And if it sounds too good to be true, it is. It is. And uh, always pay with a credit card and save all your documents well, related I mean, so to your booking. Are, okay, so people are printing these things out. Yeah, but you need to print them out nowadays because, uh, you know, if, if there's any problems. So, okay, that's so good. Take them with you, yes. All right, Regina, you always enlighten us. <laughs> um, so Sadly, but All true. Right. No, but we need to know this. Thank you so much. You Trusty bet. Trusty Newman.